28th, the day after doing our food plot, and we did get rain. We actually just had probably about 15 to 20 minutes worth of rain. And now, we're taking Grizz here out on a pigeon hunt. We gotta go pick up some ammo. We'll probably get about 100 to 200 rounds, depending on what Kyle and Hunter wanna grab. But the goal here is kind of just to get Grizz around the gunfire and to work on not breaking when he's in the blind. So we're gonna head off, pick up some shells, and we'll catch up with you then. Dustin, any yep. challenge? That would be, I, that I think would work out good if they're all sitting on the shed, this other shed, yeah. and take off and fly around that way. You could shoot this way out that way and it wouldn't be, and yeah. the air wouldn't be hurting anything. Yeah. Cause we got heifers out in the pasture out here. Yep. We just gotta, be careful shooting around all these little youngins. Farmer just doesn't want us spooking them or stressing them out. Yeah, there's more heifers that are getting ready to have them. We don't want to stress them out. Yeah, that too. I don't know if you can hear that. But what, what Hunter was saying is we got some heifers up here around the corner too that are getting ready to birth some calves too. So. Try not to stress them out. Just a, Just a couple birds up here, as you can tell. Right there, look at them all. Yep. Look, holy buckets. We got a couple hundred. This should be a good hunt. We just gotta see where they're landing here. They're probably gonna just go land right on the car. All over the place. It's gonna get a little greasy. I don't wanna be too Look close. at that silo, dude. Yeah. It's probably like a hundred on the silo. Yep. I just don't wanna be too close to there so like we're not up here and too many. If anything, what we'll do is probably sit up here on this corner. Sit on the hill. And then if they keep landing behind us like this. Well they're gonna circle. We'll just uh one of us will walk over there every once in a while and we'll just jump them back up and yeah, see what we can take. I want to just see if there's any landed over here. On the back side of this hill? On the back side of the That's what I'm saying. If they are, we just sit over here. Watch the wires. Yeah. Yeah, these wires are live, so you can't really get in there unless you crawl on the ground. And they're just going to keep flying back and forth here. So. You can even sit right over here. Yeah. Right. Here somewhere. I just want I want to know because I see them flying along the woods. We'll come up here. Well, here's our setup. Overlooking the pasture. Pasture. Tons of birds coming off the silo right now. Let's see how this goes. There you go. Get them jumped. Here they come. Oh yeah. He doesn't see him. There you go, buddy. Get ready, Kyle. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Get ready. Turn around. Shoot them when they come back. Right here. Right behind you. Shoot them. Shoot them, dude. You missed. Right Get ready, Kyle. Shoot him. You gotta lead the thing. You got a shell in there? Yeah. Get ready. Turn turn it around. Right above you, right above you, right above. Other way, other way, other way, other way. Oh, come on! Get ready. This one's coming. This one's done for. Lead him a little bit. You hit him. <laughs> it looks like you hit him, but you just stopped moving. Got visitors. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. We thought they were going to be afraid of us, but I think they're curious. Well, we're uh, 0 for 5. They're pretty quiet. 
0 for 5 right now. Kyle decided not to shoot the ones that were about 10 feet over our head and thought, got a thought the 40 yards above us was a lot better. Hunter's giving up. 20 minutes, no shooting. Oh, there's a couple of dead birds. Get ready, Kyle. No, 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 you can't shoot towards the barn. I know, I know. Hunter can, though. So, yeah, you popped up to, you gotta wait till they go behind you to do the swing. Here comes one. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Get him on the swing. Oh, too far. Well, I, no, I can. I'll do it later. Come on. Get ready, Kyle. Kyle, right up front. Right up front. Like after four. Drop that phone, dude. Shoot that thing. Shoot that thing. You got it. Oh, oh. You got it. He's got to go down. He's going down. Oh, man. He's going far away. Kyle, Kyle just hit one. Here's three more over our heads. Those are a little up there. <laughs> Kyle just hit one. The thing probably flew like another 100 yards. Swung back around and just smashed into that barn. I don't think he sees it. Right over the barn. Oh! What was that? We gotta check this box. I think we bought blanks. No. <laughs> Eight shot. <laughs> see it when I blew. Jeez, we gotta rip one of them things open. Once I see it, then I'll believe it. Good lord. We went through a box of shells. I don't think I've seen one bird fall. One did. <laughs> All right, we've changed our game plan up a little bit. We were sitting right over here against the fence line, but all the birds were coming off this roof and swinging real tight. So now we put Kyle right here in the corner. Hopefully he sees these birds swinging. Car right above ya! And we put Hunter on this corner. So Kyle's right here. All right, he's coming right over Hunter's head. Let's see somebody dust him. He's a little high. Jeez, Kyle, what? Oh, he got him. Right, right in front, right up front. Well, he got one, baby. We're gonna send Grizz. We're gonna send Grizz after him. Hey, come here, buddy. Heel, heel. Good. Right here, right here. Grizz. Here. Well, we got Two on the board right now. The one here. Hunter just dropped them out in the pasture. Probably hold off on grabbing the ones in the pasture until we're done. Maybe use them as some decoys. Get them on the swing. Ooh. Looks like he might have hit one. Kyle, what happened? What happened? You gotta hit him. Right? What is going on here? Right on, miss after miss after miss. Something's going on. We were doing fine on clays, but we can't hit pigeons that are 20 feet away from us. 
crazy. What's going on? Maybe the skid steer will jump some up. Right here, Kyle. Oh man, that guy's got it. Right here, Kyle. Hit him. He's still alive, though. There you go down with you. Yeah, there's a decoy. So we're thinking, just like ducks, said that's a problem when it's cloudy out. They're not really moving too much because they've all just kind of been sitting. But now that it's getting a little sunnier out, we're actually starting to see a few more. So hopefully we get a lot more shots. We've had plenty of shots. We've had a lot of misses. If you start hitting them, we probably will. We've probably missed 15 times. We have four birds in about... I'd say a good 15 misses. Well, I mean, we got a lot of shooting in for the day, but we did not come away with too many birds. And we found out probably why. So I was standing in between these two freestyle barns, probably 10 to 15 yards away from one, shot up in the air and at maybe like a 45 degree angle, and you could hear the BBs raining down on the building. So we know what we will never buy again. Let, let them know what's happening. Well, I think basically we're gonna pick up. We all got stuff to do yet this afternoon. So it's kind of been a botched hunt, to say the least. We got four in total, which is nowhere Terrible. close to what we were able to do last week. That was that was a good hunt. I mean, there's hundreds of birds around. We just these, can't hit anything with these things. It, yeah, we can't hit anything with these things. Like, I don't know what the deal is. Might be us, but from what we just experienced with that shot, I'm going to say it was the shot. Yeah. We're going to pick back up, try not to get trampled. Yeah. And we'll try see it. We'll see you in the truck. I'm just mad because literally I don't think them shells are coming over there as fast as they can. I can say all I want, but. Claims 1145 for velocity. I don't believe that. No. Not, not what we just witnessed. No. Those things were barely making it. I shot a bird at 10 yards and it didn't die. Yeah, I shot one three times at about 10 yards and it didn't. I really hope in the video you can hear the BBs hitting the birds because in person you could hear it multiple shots in a row hitting the bird. 15 yards away, if that, and they're still cruising. I but feel bad because we probably wounded a few of them birds, and, and but that's or, crappy. Or they, I mean, or they didn't even like it didn't even. Yeah, it might them. not even have phased them. Honestly, some it's just it's pretty upsetting. You spend 70 bucks on shells, and you're not even putting it. I I want to shoot a clay and see what happens to them. We should throw we should throw a few clays and see we what should. happens because. That was just terrible. We're shooting 12 gauges and it was terrible. Yeah, like I know that these guns will all easily break clays at 60 plus yards. And the other week I had different shells and I was shooting doves at, or I'm sorry, pigeons at 60, 50, 60 yards and I was folding them, dusting them. Like, I, these shells aren't much different than what that other box claimed, so. We're gonna have to look things over. That's upsetting. 